under inquiries and reports at any point of time if we need to know if the security administrator needs to know which users are currently online the easiest way to figure that out is to click the menu option online users and that will bring them to the list of all the users that are currently online and if a user is logged into the system in more than one instance the user's name will actually show up for example I'm showing up four times here which means that I am logged into four different instances of this very dynamic database next we can use a user log a user log is a list of all the users that have logged into the system and for how long they have been in the system the menu option actually gives them a list of how long the user has been on the system sometimes it's required by internal audit to see which user has been on the system for how long so this can also be exported to excel the user log can download it to Excel and the user logged once it's in Excel it can be emailed saved sent to wherever some of the other security reports are user role assignment this is a security report that the security administrator can run to see what roles have been assigned to what users this is also one of the reports that are regularly requested by internal audit they like to know which security role has been assigned to which user and whether that violates the company's segregation of duties matrix or not we do have a segregation matrix as a module in dynamics 365 and that can actually do all of the rules and violations and everything but in any case internal audit routinely asks for this report user role assignment i'm not going to run this report i'm just going to show you all the parameters of the report because this report might take a long time to run for all the users that are in the system and all the roles that have been attached to them like any other dynamics 365 report it starts off with a destination it is currently showing screen you can change it change the screen to printer file email any of these options then after the destination is records to include if you leave the id blank it will run for all ids however you can filter click on this filter and specify a user id to run this report to run this report on one or more user ids they can be separated by commas you can have one user id comma second user id comma third user id comma if you're only wanting to run it for a handful of 10 users this is the way to do it however if you leave it blank then it runs it for all users run in the background running it as a batch job this can be done as a batch processing so we can set up a batch and run it as a batch job so it can routinely run this report say once a month once a quarter or however it is requested or required by senior management and or internal audit this report can be run in the night hours when nobody else is in the system so it does not eat up a bunch of resources or it can be run ad hoc if you do not do a batch processing then it can be run as an ad hoc report if you click okay it'll actually run the report i'm going to cancel this and not run it the next report that comes out of the box is the security role access security role access once again it's the same kind of parameters 
Rebuild collection, yes, no, whether you want to rebuild the collections. And again, the destination, screen or change it to another destination, which is whether you want it to run to a printer or file email. Like when you change it, it can go to printer file email, one of those. Records to include, again, is a user license type or all license types. And similarly, it can be run as a bad job, yes or no. It can run as an ad hoc job or a bad job. Role to user assignment is another report that we have. It's the same kind of parameters. This report is broken by role. So it'll actually show role by role and all of the users attached to that role. The report we had seen earlier, which is user to role, is just the other way around, where it shows every user and the roles that are underneath that user, attached to that user. So this report is the flip side of the user to roles report. This is the destination. You can choose the destination records to include which user IDs you want and run in the background. It can be run as a bad job or it can be run as an ad hoc job. The last report that the system has is security duty assignments. This is all of the security duty assignments that have been done in the system. Records to include destination, records to include, which is just a filter. We can say record ID, security role, exploded graph record id and it will run it for all if you don't specify anything and then it can also be run as a bad job or it can be run ad hoc as and when required